Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Engage. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're going to jump straight into Chapter 21, I think. Which will be the next story mission. Our ship is docked here. Thank you for escorting us. Mavier! All ready, like you asked. Feel free to tell me how great I am. Wait a minute. What's the Divine Dragon doing here? Marnie? What do you want? We don't have any more rings. There are circumstances that require we travel together to Lethos. Huh? Divine Dragon. After Marnie and I lost the rings, Zephia disciplined us to an unjust extreme. So, on my honor, I will not betray you once at sea. I will deliver you safely to Lethos. Will you trust me? I will. Take us to Lethos. What? Why would you help them? They're not our friends, they're enemies! The Divine Dragon should meet with Lady Vale. We have no reason to fight, as long as you don't start trouble. I know a threat about not threatening people when I hear one. Mavier, what's happening? You will hear details once we are aboard. If that is unsatisfactory, then you may remain here. Hey! What? Fine. Fine. Okay. Temporary truce until I get back to Zephia and the others in Lethos. So be it. Let us go, Divine Dragon. Okay. Okay. You're Lord Sombron's child? What? Yes. So that means you're the sibling Lady Vale has been looking for all along? And that's why we're headed to Lethos. Hang on, does Gris know about this? He's the one who told me. Gris picked a fight at Illusia Castle to verify the truth, even surrendering a ring to do so. What? Nobody told me that was the plan! Why are Sombron and Vale going to Lethos? It's about Gradlon, the fell dragon's land lost under the sea. He intends to restore it. To restore that unholy land? My word! What more do you know about this, Vander? Gradlon sank beneath the waves 1,000 years ago. It was, of course, Sombron's land. Gradlon was a wicked place, one as much as Lethos is holy. To raise and revive it, Sombron needs to destroy the Divine Dragon Shard in Lethos. That shard is what chains Gradlon beneath the waves. Lord Sombron finds it... problematic. So, you're saying that Sombron's greatest desire is to restore Gradlon? Far from it. His desire, if such a word is fitting for Lord Sombron, is to invade other worlds. Other worlds? The continent of Elios is only a stepping stone. He plans to extend himself... everywhere. There are other worlds, and he wants to rule them all. How is that even possible? I'm well beyond what I know for certain. Lord Sombron has shared little of this with me. I can say, Lady Vale is a pawn in service of his greater ambitions. Please, tell me anything more you know. I've heard that Vale's called a... Defect. What does that even mean? Well, as a start, Dragon Royalty should be able to summon emblems. She cannot. Lord Sombron learned this recently, soon after his revival when reunited with Lady Vale. His children all fought in the war, but she, his youngest, never saw battle. Or any emblems. She told me we met once. All that time ago. You were among her many siblings. They all, in time, died fighting in the war. All save for you. <sighs> then Sombron was imprisoned, and Lady Vale's mother died, leaving her alone. She could find no friends in an age when it was rumored a last fell dragon child had survived. Lady Vale lived in hiding, knowing that were she discovered, she would be killed. A thousand years living like that. All alone that whole time? 
Not exactly. A few centuries ago, she came into contact with worshippers of the Fell Dragon. In their care, she slept in a hidden temple, until Lord Sombron's release. She had been, long ago, close with those in that temple. But when she recently awoke... They were all dead, weren't they? So Lady Vale was relieved, even overjoyed, to find herself reunited with Lord Sombron. He detested her, and proclaimed her a defect, lacking a fell dragon's abilities and character. Sombron required her obedience, however, so he ordered Zephia to tamper with her nature. Lady Vale may have thought she was no longer alone, but she's never been more so. Ever. How awful. <laughs> what is it, Marnie? Is it the waves? Are you seasick? No! I'm trying not to cry! But... I never knew Lady Vale's life was so sad. I thought I was the one with the tragic story. I should have maybe been nicer to her. Probably. You have never told me of your past, Marnie. I mean, you know, happens all the time. I was just abandoned by my mom, that's all. I had a lot, a lot of brothers, and she decided she didn't need a girl. Which is weird, since I was way superior to those useless jerks, even back then. I mean, I was better at helping her, but she never said thank you, or good job, or anything. The first time we went for a walk, just us, was so she could find somewhere to dump me. Imagine, my hand in hers, and we're strolling from place to place. She left me at a church. I can't believe it. It's fine. The priest was nice. As long as I helped free Lord Sombron, I got lots of thank yous. Eventually, I met Zephia and joined the Hounds. See? Lady Vale's story is so much sadder. Zephia filled out the four Hounds with devout followers of the Fell Dragon. Did that include you, Mavir? Yes. I was there at the hidden temple where Lady Vale slept. When she awoke, I was there to speak with her. She, a royal dragon, asked me to be her friend. I said it was impossible. Lady Vale then asked if I could offer my service to her as a knight. And you accepted. That I could not refuse. It's a big deal to be handpicked like that by royalty. Who would have thought? You made her knight? That's just cool. I mean that, Mavier. That's really cool. Should you wish, I am sure Lady Vale would also accept you as her knight. What? No way. I don't want to work with you that much. No praise, no thank yous. I hate you. Is that so? Besides, I already belong somewhere. I need to get back to Zephia. Since you're helping the Divine Dragon, you're probably gonna get kicked out of the Hounds. I expect as much. Yeah, well, I like being one of the Four Hounds. As soon as we're off this boat, we're enemies. You do hate me, after all. So, surely, you'll be happier. Right. So... Yes. I'm done talking. This is a waste of my time. Mavir, thank you for telling us all of that. When we find Vale, I hope you will do what you think is best for her. Even if that means we'll cross blades again. I shall. What's happened to Lethos? The land. It's fallen to rot and ruin. A sure sign of Gradlon's return. Or that our foes are now destroying the Divine Dragon Shard. We have to stop Sombron. Where is the shard? It's in the castle. Queen Lumera's home. Who would have thought we'd return here to see everything? Come to this. I know you're here, Sombron. Show yourself! Ah, the Divine Dragon has arrived. Or should I call you the Divine Imposter? <sighs> You've arrived earlier than expected. How did you know where to find us? My other two children haven't even caught up to us yet. I assume you mean us. 
Why are you with them? You two brought them here? And betrayed us? Unbelievable. Please, no! You have it wrong! Wrong? <laughs> Looks pretty clear to me. This is my doing. I want Lady Vale to meet with the Divine Dragon. I might have even forced them to come, but it wasn't necessary. Marnie had no part in this. Mavier! Return to the Hounds, Marnie. But... Uh, but... Do not hesitate. Go now. Marnie, welcome back. But Mavier, what will we do with you? I'm willing to forgive and forget if you can explain yourself. We are family, after all. What nonsense. I know you're going to punish me, but Lady Vale will see the Divine Dragon. You rude, self-serving. I don't mind. I was just thinking I'd like to talk to the Divine Dragon myself. Vale, what's happened to you? <laughs> it's good to see you again. What did you do to Lady Vale? I told you about Lord Sombron's enchanted helmet. My spell has now truly taken hold. Vale, do you know who I am? Why, you're my dear long lost brother. What a happy reunion. <laughs> what the... This is what you've been trying to do to her? Can the other Lady Vale return? I will say Lady Vale looks a lot more evil with the helmet, and I actually, I think she got an outfit change too. Maybe that's what it is. No, never. Not as long as that helmet remains attached and intact. That other side of her is dead. D dead? Oh, please, you should be delighted. You don't have to talk to the defect anymore. Zephia, I know about Vale's past. Do you? You were alive way back then. What? I mean, I didn't know. When I helped you with all of these awful things, Lady Vale was all alone for so long. And she was so excited to see her family again. She never got to enjoy it. Now she never will. It's all so terrible. What is this, Marnie? Sephia, I loved it when you gave me praise. I loved it when you said we were family. I loved belonging somewhere. I loved the Four Hounds. But this has gone too far. I have to do what I know is right. Praise or no praise. Marnie? I'm going to free Lady Vale. I'm going to break that helmet to pieces! No! Stop! <laughs> Marnie, that was simply pathetic. An attack like that couldn't put a scratch on Father's gift. I swung with all my strength, and it did nothing? I take it you were trying to free me, fool that you are? But as it turns out, you have failed in your attempt. Oh... I ordered you to stop, did I not? <laughs> Such a bad girl. <laughs> you are a very naughty child. If only you had done as I had said. Wow. Marty! Uh, here. Just straight up murder her. I'm sorry. I tried to save her, but in the end, I guess I wasn't strong enough. If she's ever her old self again, will you tell her something for me? Please tell her that she's done so well. Don't go. Please. Marnie! Uh, uh, 
<sighs> oh, did she die in your arms? How very tragic. What a waste. Got killed for nothing. Marnie was just trying to restore Vale and all this for that. I will never stand by you again, Zephia, save for the moment my blade pierces your heart. Divine Dragon, I beg of you, allow me to fight at your side, to avenge Marnie and to save Lady Vale. Mafia, of course. So you're just going to betray me? Leave me sad and lonely again? And you, brother? I thought you'd be happy to be reunited with me after... so long. You are not our veil. This must be about my new look. Then you're not going to like this look either. Marth. His fellow emblems stolen away. You turned your back on him. Oh, lonely thing. Just like me. But I'm here for you, little emblem. I'm all you need. Now, had I known I had a sibling who survived the years, I would have killed you. I'd like to make sure I'm my father's one and only child. You want to be alone forever? Yes, that's right. I have no need for this sort of family or friendships or bonds of loyalty. I do appreciate you bringing the rings to me, but that's where our relationship ends. Now, goodbye, brother. Fail. So are we fighting Vale? Also, I gotta say, I don't really feel a whole lot of sympathy for Marnie. Like, I know she got murdered <laughs> and she was trying to do like a good deed, but like the entire game up to this, she's been basically a complete psychopath. So like, I really don't feel that bad for her. Um, okay. So who are we fighting? All right, we do have Veil. Are we going to get Marth's ring back at the end of this? That would be nice. Uh, so we got Veil, Zephia. Is this Gris right here? Yeah, okay. So these guys are all up here. They each have two health bars. Veil has three. Uh, what are we dealing with? We got a dragon here and a dragon here. Let's just pop over to you. Ooh, what is this? A legendary short sword smashes and poisons uh, hit foes. Okay, so it's like a like a blade, but it also poisons and it does a ton of damage. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I can see that being fancy. Good on certain uh, enemies. You have a legendary sword famous for its great power. We'll get that as well. Okay. I'm liking these whole legendary items thing. You give spirit dust, which is, like, pretty good. Permanent magic boost for somebody. And then it's just a bunch of other various enemies. And a lot of dragons. Okay. So, uh, looks like enemies are level 12. Um, I have actually been training up... Um, where is he? Amber... Here we go, Bunei. I've actually been trading up, training up Bunei because I realized something cool about Bunei, and that is that he has a uh, a rank swords as a great knight, which Louis does not. He would only get B, and uh, same for who's the other great knight? Rosemary, I believe. Uh, Rosemary would only get uh, B in swords as a great knight. And then Jade would only get B in Swords as a Great Knight. Why does that matter? Well, a brave weapon is an A rank weapon. And I think there's a, and specifically it's a B rank, uh, an A rank sword. 
and I can I kind of realize that Roy on a great night with a brave sword is actually a really cool combo because Roy gives a bunch of benefits to sword uh, a bunch of extra damage to sword users um, at the cost of them losing chance to avoid. Well, the thing is, a great, a great knight's so slow uh, that they're never going to avoid anything anyway. They're, they rely on having high defense. So we're actually going to bring him, I think, uh, and try him out. He's not going to be super good here because he's a bit underleveled compared to everybody else, but I think we can maybe feed him a couple kills here and there. Uh, now, we do need to take out these two dragons pretty much immediately. So let's send you to here. You can just reach him. Can you reach? No. Okay, let's swap these. Ah, you can't get there either. Uh, what about Chloe, maybe? Chloe can get there, just barely. And maybe I can kill him in one shot with a, um, a killer lance. Or something along those lines. Uh, let's see. Move you up. Also, we should look at you. What have you got? You're a Royal Knight, Flame Lance, Silver Great Lance. Uh, Mavir will be joining us this fight, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm going to kind of have bon uh, Bunet hang towards the back. Actually, that's another thing. Can you reach? Yeah, you can actually reach as well. Okay. I think something like this should work. Um, let me just double check inventories and stuff, and then we'll dive into this. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's give this a try. So we get Mavir. Divine One, I am with you from this day forward. Let's take a quick look at Mavir here. You are level 12, promoted class. You have a Flame Lance and a Silver Great Lance. I think we are going to want to give Bobby you reporting. something else. Uh, let's Convoy here. Can I just give you, like, a Brave Lance? What is your actual... Like, what can you use? Uh, I don't really have a whole lot here. I think... Let's give you a... Silver Lance. Uh, I wanted to deposit some stuff too, but it's fine. Okay, do that. Uh, you need to come over here and kill the dragon. That's super important. Because dragons can mess you up. Okay, one dragon down. Uh, can you... You have a 55% chance and only a 23% chance to get hit. I think I'm good with this. Did not get the crit, unfortunately, but I did get it in the second round. Dragon's down. And then we'll bring you to here. Okay. Uh, you can't reach anybody, which is fine. And then we got some dudes up here. here Let's take out the bow users, because I've got flyers. And the other guys will hit hard, but they'll be slow. So I'd very the much like the yours. bow users to die first. We should be able to kill all these guys, I think. Take that. It was fate, you see. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, still need I'm ready. you to die. Can I? That's not great odds. And I also won't get the break because they're armored. So I suppose what we could do is engage, Emblem, engage, turn into Ike, and then I have a hammer I can hit you with, which still won't actually do enough. Okay, all right, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, can you reach that guy? No. Neither can you. I'll Unfortunately, a lot of my guys are... This might work, though. 
hit you with a thunder, and then maybe we can finish you off with uh, Diamant. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Nothing short of victory. Remember this. Okay. That's two armors down. Okay. Let's bring you up to here. Do these guys all have tomahawks? Because if so, that's going to be rough. No. Good. No apologies. No mistakes. And then you can come up here and finish. Yeah, 27% chance to hit. That's fine. If I get hit, I get hit. And it's not a ton of damage anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll pull you up to here. Who do I want to take this guy out with? You. I think it, I, I'd actually like to take him out with you if I can. No, can't. Well, actually, there's a fairly decent chance that I get a Luna proc, which will then do enough. I will protect or a crit. That works, choice, too. But to win. Okay. So, enemies are dropping like crazy. Found Alir's lost item? Alir had a lost item? What? I'm very confused. What just happened? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. Okay, it's fine. Move you up as well. The dragon will be able to charge down, but I don't think it can actually get to us. You put up a good fight. And we should be able to take out a lot of these units here. Okay, break is annoying, but fine. Alright, send you over here to deal with these guys. You have crazy high avoids, so you should be able to do that. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think we can get Chloe up there to help. Um, would you be able to do... Oh, you're... That's Mavir. Uh, would you be able to do... Yeah, you can actually do a pretty fair chunk of damage with a Brave Sword. Um, but we need to weaken him a little bit first. And so we shall use Lady Anna... To soften him up, and then we can bring Bunei over and get a free kill with Bunei. Because we need to get him experience, and this will be a good way to do it. We're just going to kind of try and drip feed him experience and get him trained up a bit. Uh, Mavir, you're not going to be doing a whole lot here. This whole bit up here is a bit concerning. Actually, if I come over here and dance for you, I should be able to kill all three of these bow guys this turn, I think. Yeah. So we'll bring you to here. Have you take out this one, and then Chloe can come up and kill the other one. I am sorry. So Chloe come up, attack with the killer lance. Hurry. Hungry for more. Very good. Okay, and then we just gotta get rid of this guy. Uh, which should be pretty easy to do. Who do we want to use? I don't know that it really matters. I guess we'll just use Hortensia. Actually, we should check. Yeah, if I do it from here, I'm fine. Okay, who has actually taken damage? Anybody? You have. Uh, we'll use Jean to heal you just a tiny bit. 
I owe you one. Okay, and is anyone actually in range of anything? Doesn't look like it, which is good for me. Uh, let's bring Mavir up to here. Put you here. Bring you up, and that seems good. We'll see if they come charging forward. They will not. Okay. Let's see if I can lure the dragon up. And a couple of these other guys. You're a problem. So we, we don't want to lure them up if we can avoid it. Uh, where's Lady Anna? Right here. Bring you over. Uh, you've got crazy high resist, right? Yeah. Put Chloe here. I want to lure up just the dragon. And a couple of the wyvern knights and stuff. Okay. Did a little damage, but nothing I need to worry about too much. Oh, they're summoning friends. Okay, this is fine. All right, um... You don't have a ring. Only Vale has a ring. So let's bring you up to here, and hopefully you can kill this dragon. I just need one crit, and I have a 60% crit chance. There we go. Alright, dragon is down. Um, we gotta watch out for these guys over here. So we can't really afford to have Bune go up and smack one of these guys as much as I would like to. Um, let's see. You've also got crazy resist. Let's use you to finish off. Uh, we should also keep an eye on your range. Yeah, man. It's a little rough, but we should be fine. Um, Anna, can you come over here and get rid of these guys, perhaps? Or at least give them something to do that doesn't involve trying to kill me? Where's Hortensia? Hortensia, you have stupid range. Or stupid resistance. Let's send you up. No apologies. That takes care of you. And then we need to make sure that you cannot be hit. So let's put you, like, here can move you up a little. Put you here. Uh, we'll let these guys come to me, I think. Let's put our dancer here in the middle, I guess. This should be fine. I think. Two hounds or four. Doesn't matter to me. I'll fight, and that's that. Okay, Excalibur would hurt, but doesn't have a great chance of hitting me. <laughs> Diamond's getting beat up a little bit, but nothing we can't handle. You're pretty tough, you know. All right, I don't know if they're gonna keep spawning reinforcements, but it's nothing personal. I'm merely following Lady Vale's order. Yes, yes. You have a 0% chance to hit me. So, again, not concerned about that. I am sorry. Kagetsu is such a champion. <laughs> and he actually has, like, fairly good defense. Oh, hi. That's a lot of dudes. Okay. Let's make sure that this turn we kill these guys. So let's bring you up. Uh, I don't like that at all. Um, Gris needs to go like this turn, I think. So Lady Vale. Elwind can take out the first health bar. I want to get these legendary items. And then hopefully kill Vale before they have a chance to really 
mess me up. Um, you're hurt a little bit. Can you finish Gris off? Yes, although you can also reach... We should check Vale's range as well. Is that really Vale's range? No. Okay, we're good. So we can actually... Oh, you can't quite reach her. Okay. Um... What about you? Just out of curiosity. That's a good way to get killed. Not a fan. Uh, yeah, we'll bring you up. You killed this one. Quickly now. Exquisite. So there goes Gris. Death means no more pain. And who needs that? Now is he actually dead, or is he going to escape for like the seven thousandth time? That's what I would like to know. Uh, you can come up here and get a break on this guy at least. It's an option. All right, we've gotten rid of Gris. Uh, you could come here. Mm. Let's kill one of these guys with you. I have it. I'll apologize later. Okay. What's the range on these? These guys are not going to be able to catch up to us just yet. So that's good. We could bring you up. What if I Brave Lance? Will that be better? No. I think I'm okay with this, and I hope for a crit. Hurry. I'm ready to yep. Beautiful. I'm sorry. Okay, you're not dead yet. Uh, we will canter back. And now it's your turn. Although, let's actually do it from here, I think. Again, we just need one crit. We could have been friends. Oh, actually, we need two. I didn't realize that her defense was that high. But, that's fine. Mavier. You get your moment to shine. Uh, yeah, I got a good chance. It is a sad day that I must fight you, Mavia. And here I thought we were family. Family? You killed Marnie. I should have stepped in sooner. Then Lady Vale and Marnie might have had a chance. I have it! There we go. Quite strong. I feel it fits the story for Mobier to get killed. Perhaps you do have what it takes. Okay, and we get a very fancy sword. Which I will probably give to Alir, actually. Uh, let's see. You can actually get a kill here on this guy, guaranteed. Because mages are squishy. So more experience for Bunei. Not a great level up, but that's okay. It's still a level. Um, let's bring you to here. And I don't actually have a Dragon Slayer sword. But we have more than enough to kill all these guys. Okay, we got the kill anyway. I was going to say, we can soften him up, and then I could dance for, like, Bunei. And have him get the chance to go again. In fact, I might actually do that anyway. Let's dance for Bunei. He might be able to get the kill on that other mage, too. Because we're... We are trying to train him up. Well done, I'd say. Very good. Just trying to kind of drip feed him experience. I uh, we'll punch. bring you to here. I do have a worm slayer, so this is a this is why we have it. This for stuff like this. Are you watching the Remember. 
Okay, that takes care of you. We'll bring you up and heal, which will actually heal both of them. Thank you. And now we just need to be kind of aware of all the guys coming at us from other angles. So let's just kind of consolidate our people a little bit. They're all going to come charging up, which is fine. Oh, you have dragon friends now, too. Okay. it's a lot of guys. Uh, but we can handle this. We'll be fine. Uh, I guess we'll have... Do we want to deal with the reinforcements, or do we want to just go straight for Vale? I kind of want to deal with the reinforcements, if I'm being entirely honest here. You can't reach anybody. Which is unfortunate. Um, I think I have a plan. Let's put you here. Unfortunate. Let's try and take out a couple of these guys. Uh, put you maybe here. Take out this one. I have it. I'm sorry you had to see that. And then we just got to kind of be aware of some of these other guys. Uh, what's the range on you? You'll be fine. So yeah, let's just kind of pull everybody up. We could also come here and kill this guy. Which I don't actually hate. It's another bow user gone. And then we'll canter your back. Uh, so they only have one more bow user. They got a ton of tome users over here. So I think I'm actually going to send Lady Anna. Uh, what do these guys actually have? Thoron, 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 Thoron. Okay, so they're all using Thoron. Which means I want to equip L Thunder. Because they all have three tile range. So equipping my other tome isn't going to do anything. And we'll just kind of bring you back. Uh, let's... Yeah, that was not who I wanted to dance for, but it's fine. Bring Mauvier back a little bit. Uh, something like this should be okay. Like, even if they do manage to hit Anna, I've got so much resistance on her that it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let them come. Yeah, I had my eye on you. Simple enough. These guys are all gonna go charging up as well. Okay, dragons look like they are moving towards us. But it looks like we're not getting any more reinforcements from way behind. They're just kind of spawning on the sides. So that's great. Um, okay. So first things first. Let's come over here and kill this guy. Uh, we got two, we actually have two archers over here, which is a bit annoying. We'll deal with that momentarily. Uh, you. Okay. How much do I do to these guys? With the Brave Sword, not as much as I would like. Well, let's just start killing them off. Hurry. Hortensia can take one out. You can come down here. Hit this guy if he lives. Okay. He's not living. Alright. And you can reach, so if I can get this guy without actually killing him, I'm good with that. Although I don't really have... 
What's your actual weapon? You have a silver axe? So maybe we try and whittle you down a little bit. Or actually, let's just do this. I doubt one thunder will be enough. I have it. Unless you get a crit. Okay, that works too. <laughs> I'm trying to kill steel with Bune, and it's not working. It's fine. Uh, all right, you kill, you hit this one, and then the rest of them will come to Lady Anna. Okay, now we need to deal with this side over here. So we're going to have you chuck some daggers at this dude. Let's have some fun. My goodness, how awful. Have you come over here. And as long as you get the kill on this guy... Even then sorry. I'm feeling pretty okay about bringing Chloe to over here to take out this guy. And then we can have you canter back. Uh, and I think the rest of you can probably just chill for a minute. Maybe move you up a little bit. Something like this. We're pretty tough, you know. These mages don't have enough HP to actually do anything meaningful. Like they can just get one shot by Anna, so it works. Wow. Actually hit me. Still, you're dead. Also dead. Okay, hopefully that's the end of the reinforcements, so I can actually consolidate my people now. You do have a couple of dragon friends now, which is a little annoying, but it's okay. Start bringing everybody up. Chloe, too. Uh, let's make sure we're staying out of range of the dragons. Okay. The... Oh, you're the dude that has... Oh, is this a knife? Oh, it's considered a knife. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well. I don't really want you to tank a hit from that. And, but you do have crazy avoid, and somebody's gonna have to do it. Uh, maybe we have a Leer do it, actually. Uh, or... Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll have a Leer tank the hit from... The, uh, the thief. Which I don't love, but it should be fine. And he may also just be able to avoid it. He does have decent avoid chance. So I'll put you there. Bring you up. Bring you up. Okay, that seems good. I mean, we could also have potentially taken him out. Oh, are they not charging? They are not charging. Okay. Well, thank you for allowing me a little bit of setup. So what have you got? You have a recover staff and you you have an entrap staff. That's annoying. Uh, I'm actually going to take out entrap staff I'm guy. Sorry you're stuck with me. This should be my most powerful bow. We're just going to take that guy out so he can't use Entrap on us, because that's a very annoying staff to deal with. I had no choice but to win. So yeah, that's not allowed. Okay. Now we can start moving everybody up. We'll probably take one more turn. Just to kind of get everybody up here. Um... move you to here. Anna. Uh, 
And you dance for somebody. Uh, you dance for Kikatsu. Should be fine. You know the other thing we could actually do? Oh, you can't quite reach. You can almost reach, but that's fine. We'll put you here. We want to make sure we take out the two dragons in one turn. Oh, you're summoning more friends. Okay, I see here I thought the summon, oh, the reinforcements were going to be done, but uh, I guess not. Okay, well, in that case, it's fine. You come up here, smack this guy. Even mighty ones fall. One dragon down. Lady Anna, can you reach? Not quite. You can kill this guy, though. And I think that's worth it. Quickly now. We're pretty tough, you know. So we get another legendary thingy. Okay, these guys can't reach me if I send like Hortensia up to here. I think I'm okay with that. It's a pretty low chance to hit. We should be fine. Yeah. Would not have been good if we actually got hit, but we didn't, so it's all good. Okay, um, next. You come up here. Chuck a couple daggers at you. That'll leave you with a whopping 1 HP. Um, that way we can finish you off. I guess with Alchrist, because nobody else can reach. Well, hmm. yeah, we'll use Alchrist, because nobody else can reach. Uh, or we could call doubles, actually. I like that. Because the AI has a tendency to love charging after your uh, attacking your doubles. I have it. So maybe we can bait uh, Veil vale into doing that. If she's going to even attack, I don't know. She might not move off of her tile, in which case that's fine. But let's get some more help up here. Get everyone moving. You can come to here. We'll get some of our flyers up. They're not in range of the reinforcements in the side, so it should be okay. Uh, can you not dance for... Wait, why can you not dance for... Oh, because this, this is a double. I see. All right, I'll bring Mavir up. You just dance for somebody, it doesn't matter. It's about the experience, not about uh, needing them to go again at the moment. Because, like, I actually, I could come over here and just... Oh, no, they got another bow over there. I don't like that. All right. Uh, yep. Or you could maybe come to here? And take out this guy? I think that's probably fine. So that's one more enemy down. These guys can attack Kigetsu. Wow, they actually hit him. Okay. Okay, she does attack. But I think she's going for a, an illusory double. Or the me from before. At least I hope so. Yeah. Totally using her crazy ability on illusory double. That's what you love to see. Unfortunate. 
So we 100% should be able to kill Vale this turn. Like, without a doubt. So bearing that in mind, I want to make sure that Bune gets one more kill. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, they're just going to keep summoning, summoning enemies, like, forever. So, let's see. You can't reach him. You should be able to reach this guy. We're going to kill Vale this turn. The kitchen is closed. So let's make sure that we get Bune another kill. And therefore another level. Strength upgrade, good. That's what he needs. He doesn't hit all that hard right now. Uh, okay, my turn. I'll apologize later. Okay. Beautiful. One health bar down. Uh, can you take a full health bar? Probably not. I think I'm fine with that trade. If I get a crit. No crit. But we did some damage. Did a decent amount, at least. Uh, let's see. Who is next? Mavir, can you actually do anything to Vale? With the Silver Great Lance, you kind of can. <laughs> Not enough that I'm feeling good about it. Um, what about you? Can you take off a health bar with Elfire? Almost, but not quite. Uh, I mean, this is fine. Although we do need to keep in mind that it's, you're almost certainly going to get dark ring powers that's going to boost stats and stuff even more. Um, now Mavir should probably be able to come up here and do something. Yeah, it's a terrible... It's fine. The chain attack is an 80% chance. Ah, oh, my loyal knight Mavir. Aren't you going to protect me anymore? My time with the Four Hounds is behind me. I will not protect you. Same as ever, Mavir. You won't acknowledge me. You won't even say my name. Well, don't worry. I haven't forgotten your reward. How about a swift death? I will sacrifice anything, everything, to save Lady Vale from you. Give me strength, Marty. All right, chain attack. Thank you. Seems I was too slow. Okay, that takes care of that. And now, uh, I think we'll go for this. That should, yeah, that that's guaranteed to kill. So, uh, before we do that, let's finish off a couple more of these guys. Might as well. Even mighty ones fall. I am sorry. Don't really see any reason not to get SP and all sorts of other good stuff. I have it. It is like a mirage. Can't reach the other side, right? Oh, actually, you totally could. You could just come over here. Had to see that. Clear out these guys. Um, and you can take out this one. Or you can miss. Okay, that's that's fine too. Uh, I guess we're doing it with Lady Vale or Lady Anna. Oh, you actually can't do enough damage. Wow. Okay, I guess that one's gonna live. That's fine. Simple enough. 
Okay, I think it's time to finish off Lady Vale here. Uh, might as well engage. Lend me your strength. And we could go for the Twin Strike. Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's Twin Strike. Oh, how I wanted to find you. How I wanted to kill you. Queen Lumera's pet. The whimpering, pathetic worm. You are not my son. And you're not mine. Vale is. Give her back. I am Vale. And I'll prove it, here and now, by destroying you. I will give it my all. This is it. All right. That should be the mission, I think. Yep. Okay, that went pretty smoothly. Can't complain. Now we'll probably have some cutscenes. <laughs> what? What's happening? Purple-eyed veil. Why are you here? Veil? Veil? It's really you, isn't it? This doesn't make sense. Her changing back wasn't supposed to be possible. <gasps> the enchanted helmet. It's cracked! Marnie's attack worked? Marnie... Such bravery. Where... are we? Lethos Castle. You've been under Zephia's control. My head hurts... really bad. And... wait a second... what am I... wearing? And where did I get this ring? This is yours, right? I remember. We were near the cathedral. You said it was important to you. Here, please, take this. Thank you, Vale. I will not allow it. All right. So I think we got Marth's ring back, unless Sombron's about to step in and not allow that. Heed me well, O oh defective daughter of mine. Papa. My goal is so close I can taste it, but their kindness makes you weak. Now go and reclaim my emblem rings at once. I won't! So I see. That is a shame. Well then, there is nothing more you can do for me. And I have never been in the habit of keeping that which has no value. From this moment, this time, your defeat is final. Why did you do that? You shouldn't have jumped in front of me! I did what I had to do to keep you out of harm's way. I wanted to make up for all the times I couldn't protect you. All the times I wasn't there for you. So sorry, Vale. For all those awful things I said. I don't care. I don't care about that. Please don't die. It'll be all right. There's still so much I have to do. I can't die until I've told you everything. There's still too much left unsaid. <laughs> Who I am. Listen, Vale. Oh, 
You can't. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Now there is nothing to stand in my way. The divine dragon is gone. That I should see this day. But how? How could this? Wait, the dragon stone. Another of my children, the one you've been searching for all this time, your brother. Huh? The Divine Dragon took the traitor in after the events of the last war. Thus, the fool did survive. No child of mine should live as a Divine Dragon. Death was this one's inexorable fate. No! But the stone shouldn't break! Stone shouldn't shatter unless... All that time, you were my brother! I found you! I finally found you! Please don't be gone! I need to talk to you! I don't understand why you would sacrifice yourself for me! Such pathetic children! All twelve of the rings are finally in my possession! Yet, for all of that, I control the Emblem Rings. Together, their power is so great. Granted once every thousand years, and now, that unrivaled power is mine! Okay... Emblem rings. Grant me infinite power. Oh, he's big now. He's a big boy. Radlon, rise up! Rise up once again! <laughs> so did we lose all the rings again? Impossible. Gradlon, restored. Papa, where are you going? You've destroyed everything. You killed your own child. This is what you wanted? Looks like it's over for you all, hmm? Sethia! Lady Defect. You survived here only because of all those who came to your aid. I see they survived. Again. What a shame. Because now it's time for you to say farewell. Farewell? <laughs> Lady Vale. I don't want her to have control. But Marnie broke the helmet. Oh, Mavia. Simple, simple Mavia. It was only cracked. That certainly weakened it. But with Lord Sombron's elevation to power, the helmet works far better than before. <gasps> Lady Vale, come on out. Join us. If you would. <laughs> I 
I'm assuming the helmet can't just be like taken off because that kind of seems like the obvious solution. No. Father. <laughs> what power. You finally done it. I wanted to kill the divine dragon myself, but oh well. Lady Vale. Lord Thombron will gladly welcome you as his daughter now. Good to see you back. Would have had to kill you otherwise. Zephia, Gris, return to father. I'll catch up with you soon. Of course. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. As for all of you, death is inevitable. But I'd like this mess dealt with now. Clean this up for me. Leave no one alive. The Corrupted! And more than we can handle on our own. We don't even have our rings! Rings? They'd be useless to you. The Divine Dragon is dead. None of you have the ability to summon emblems. This is the end. We have no way out. So, who wants to die first? There's no need for any of you to squirm or struggle. You're all about to join your beloved Divine Dragon. Are we all going to die here? There must be something we can do! Please... Okay, I have a feeling that this is one of those chapters that flows directly into another chapter. But I guess we'll find out. Strike me down? Go on! Do it! <sighs> Why are you here all by yourself? The war is finally over, Mother. We don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> Save the world. <laughs> ah, yes, going right into Chapter Twenty Two. have died protecting Vale. There's no waking up again this time. I had dreamed I would awaken as a hero. Only now I realize that did happen. But it's too late. I wonder if I'll be able to find Mother here. Mother. Hmm. Vale? Why are you here? Papa used the rings to raise Gradlon. 
The helmet reactivated. My head began to swim. And then... I was here. Things didn't go how I wanted them to. And now it seems I've died. <sighs> Papa said you're my big brother. You gave your life to protect me. I'm so sorry. You should have let me die. Don't say that. I made the right choice. You have a link back home. There's still a chance for you. No. No more. What? I tried so hard. I wanted Papa to look at me and not see a defect. I wanted him to forget about the other worlds and just be with me. I'd always think... If only I tried harder. But it never mattered. I kept getting crushed over and over. I'm so tired. If I have to die again and fail once more, I'd rather it just end here. With you. Oh, fail. Hey. Why don't we fall asleep? Together. The world will end with her without us. And... I feel happy because I finally found you. Maybe the others will join us eventually. Perhaps you're right. Well then... Except... I'm not ready to give up. I want to save our world, and everyone I care about. Vale, you have been through so much, and I understand why you feel the way you do. But please, don't give up. Not before you experience the life you deserve. I don't care anymore. Even if I returned and survived all of it, I can't stop Papa because I can't summon emblems. All I can do is create the Corrupted. A fallibility befitting a fell dragon. Corrupted? Veil, there is something you can do. Huh? Revive me. As one of the Corrupted. What? You did it to King Hyacinth. It was as if he'd come back to life. Return to himself. Perhaps I could go back to the living world in the same way. That's an interesting take. Maybe, but you aren't thinking this through. You hate the corrupted. They terrify you. Now you want to be one? If we do that, you'll never be able to change back. This way, at least you died as yourself. Would you really want to die as one of them? I'll sacrifice more than that if it saves everyone. How I die doesn't matter. I just want to end this war. However I can. <sighs> Please don't give up, Vale. If we don't try, we lose everything. To me, this is the only way forward. But... Vale, what do you live for? What do you mean? My friends told me it doesn't matter where you're from. What's important is how you live. How you live and what you do shapes your future. So, who do you want to become? I've never thought about that. But if it were possible for me to change now, I suppose... I'd want to be like you. I'd want to become a dragon who saves the world. We really are siblings. Hmm? I said something very similar a long time ago. Let's go back and save our world. Together. All right. I'll give it one last try. I hope to see you soon, brother. You're my dear sister. And I trust you with all of my heart. So we're going to be corrupted, Alir, I guess. <laughs> Stop fighting. You die either way. Lady Vale, please, come back to us. Oh, you miss her, Mavir? Then I'll kill you first. Maybe you'll find what you're after on the other side. Uh. Huh? Uh. Lady Vale? You don't know when to give up, do you? That's right! I'm not going quietly! She's talking to herself. Not herself, exactly. The true Lady Vale. She's fighting back. I know that. My brother believed in me. So I... I believe in myself! Shut your mouth! 
You are nothing but a defect. Mark my words, you quivering little baby. You're gonna be dead soon. No, I won't. You're not in control here, I am. And I won't wear this horrible thing anymore. Wait, there's already a crack in it. I'll break it. Then I get to be me again. You'll be gone! Stop! Stop it right now! I don't want to go! Help me, Father! I beg of you! Papa isn't coming. He doesn't care. It's time now. Time to say goodbye! <sighs> Sorry, but you did it all on your own. You're wrong about me doing it alone. My brother helped me. The Divine Dragon. I have to hurry. Guardians of the Underworld, cast aside the rules that govern life and death, so that this body void of life may draw breath. Rise up! Corrupted! One has become corrupted. What are we supposed to do now? Fight? No. We can't. Please, everyone, listen. You can speak. There's nothing to fear. I won't hurt you. I asked Vale to revive me as one of the corrupted. You must believe me. But are you really you? Yes. I'm the same person who took this journey with you. The Divine Dragon. Whatever form I take, this soul is still mine. <sighs> Brother, look what I found. The Ring of the Hero King. It was lying by your side, as though it wanted to be with you. The emblems in the Twelve Rings have played their roles. They are likely drained of power. Can you still summon them? You've done so much today. Now, it's my turn. All right. Marth, I've returned. I'm here for you. Please, show yourself. Shine on. Emblem of beginnings. Nothing happened. No, this has to work. We have so much to protect. Please, Marth. Join me once more! Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! Marth! I'm so happy to see you! <sighs> but... That's the Fell Dragon version! I used Fell Dragon power to raise my brother. He's using that same power to summon. <laughs> Are they reacting to the emblem? Time is short. I'll need your help to summon all the emblems again. You don't have to trust me, but this is the only way. We must stand together and fight as one. Okay, so I guess we do have all the rings, despite the fact that the Fell Dragon took them all and used them. I guess he just decided it would be nice if he gave them back. I'm a little confused as to how that whole thing worked, but okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's a little weird. Anyway, though, 
we're going to end the episode there and pick it up next time with chapter 22. That was one of the, this is one of those ones that kind of flowed from one into the other, as I said. So not really a, a good uh, natural cut point without accidentally skipping stuff. So uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.